thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Wow, I'm actually saying that. Um, I'm new to this. This is uh, new to me. I decided to create a YouTube channel after a few people on TikTok and Instagram have inspired me to get into it. Um, so this is my first uh, YouTube video. Um, it is what you call a vlog. Um, initially, I kind of thought, you know, I, I wouldn't really have enough substantial content to do one of these, but it dawned on me that I don't have to be on the water all the time while I'm on these videos. Um, I guess it's a good way to capture a 360 of my day. I mean, just talking to you guys like I would, like if you were coming with me on this fishing journey. Um, and I want you guys to watch me evolve as an angler. Um, this is a different kind of experience, I guess you can say, because I am somebody who started fishing from scratch on my own. And I really want to touch hearts with anyone who has started the same way as I, or somebody who's thinking about, you know, getting into fishing um, and doesn't really know where to start. And um, I'm going to explain a little bit about myself. So my grand, so I'm, I'm half Korean. My Korean grandfather is an avid angler in Korea. Was um, when I was really, really, really young. Like, I'm talking like four years old, we used to go fishing at this little pond and it was the fondest childhood memories I have. Um, well, I guess that has kind of somewhat inspired me to, to get back into it, just because I remember how fun that was and I've always been an outdoors kind of person, so. Um, but recently with COVID, and I know it's, been one of the hardest years that I've ever experienced and I'm sure you guys can attest the same. Um, COVID has just been one of those, you know, having those hopeless days sometimes, you know, it can be pretty depressing. But um, I guess I was just looking for an escape. I was looking for something that could um, Hang on, let me talk to this gatekeeper. Um, so anyways, I, I, I was just kind of looking for an escape, you know? Like everyone else. This is a, an escape from reality. Um, and I really urge you new anglers out there watching this video, that's how I want you to think of it. I don't want you guys to think about catching fish, it has to be about catching fish. Trust the process, love the process. It's a journey, it's not just a destination. So I remember back in June, so what is it, February? So it's been a little over, it's been a little over half a year. Um, I picked up a fishing rod in Big Bear and decided I wanna figure this thing out, okay? Nobody wanted to come with me. I did it all on my own. So I, I went to the lake at 5 a.m. I took out my brand new, like, starter kit rod. I went to the bait shop to pick up some bait because I was fishing for trout. So, you know, he had me, he, he gave me the whole, you know, trout setup and trouble hooks and the power bait and all that jazz. And I did the best I could. I went out there. I... I so, didn't know what no I was doing. This I, morning. I didn't want it to be obvious. I didn't know so what I was doing, but it. it was obvious. But whatever, it's part and of the process. Try fishing okay. again tomorrow, and then good maybe side of it tonight. is people are always so willing to help you. Um, so when I was out there, um, you know, you, you kind of see who once you cast, and you know, a lot of people use bobbers, so you can see that they're just watching their bobbers go down, and yeah, other than that, you're not really toying around with your rod you're not manipulating it in any way it's no it's not like a finesse like a like a you know you're working it you're, you're fishing for trout you're just letting it sit in the water the power bait so anyways after you cast you just really you really don't do much you just sit there oh we're gonna go ahead and get the kayak let's go so um anyways I went up to a few people and I just kind of asked like hey what are you throwing what's your setup what kind of rod are you using you know those kind of questions and um, people are so helpful I'm I was surprised to see people just kind of put their rods down 
walk over to where I was and walk, look at my setup, kind of, re, you know, help me set up my rod and everything. Got it? Oh, yeah. I think this sport almost kind of restores my hope in humanity, you know? So, um, I guess it's inspiring to have somebody just stop what they're doing to help you out because I guess I'm not really used to seeing that on a regular basis. People out here are just so busy in their own lives and like trying to do things for themselves and you know it's I guess it's almost kind of hard to do things for other people because you're like in what situation could you really do that other than like opening a door for someone or letting them in when you're driving you just don't have those kind of opportunities to like interact like on a heart level with somebody. And it's so humbling when you don't know and somebody just helps you. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like a love language for me. Um, so I, um, I fell in love immediately. It was like somebody was helping me set up my rod and I remember thinking, I could really get into this. Like, I, I think I could really do this. And um, I found a lake near me and I got my own rod. I got the GX2 spinning reel Shakespeare ugly stick uh, combo <laughs> series and it is still my one of my favorite rods. It's in my car right now. I know it's the one with the white tip. It's this one. Um, I'm going to pause it here because I need to get my, uh, my kayak. So.